Hello guys, what's up? The code Talk is here and welcome to my channel. This is video series Git tutorials in two minutes and in this video we're gonna see Git aliases. Git aliases are a really handy feature if you want to speed up your working process. You can specify two or one letter aliases to every Git command and use them instead of full commands. Okay, let's create an alias st which refers to status. We type git config alias dot and the alias name st in this case and status. And now I can use git st instead of git status. However, this alias was made locally for this project only. If I move in another project terminal, I cannot use git st right there. Generally, you don't need to create aliases for a specific project, probably you need to create aliases globally. Let's create one alias globally for branch. The syntax is the same, we just specify minus minus global flag. And now I can use git br globally in any git projects terminal. Let's create a few more aliases like co for example for commit. And now I can use this co to make an actual commit. You can even create aliases for git commands which contain more than one word. For example, I can create an unstage alias for git reset hard minus minus command. If you want to see all the aliases which is created, you need to open git config file from your home directory. You can open this in your favorite editor and you see right there all the aliases we have created. You can add more aliases right here, like st for example for status, or pool m for pool origin master. And now these aliases are globally available in any project's terminal. We didn't have git st previously on my notes application, but I now have it. Now let's edit a local config file and delete the st alias which created in the beginning of the video. I'm gonna open now with my VS code and delete the aliases section completely. I don't want local aliases, I have all aliases globally and that's what I want in most cases. That's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more videos from Git tutorials in 2 minute series. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.